Hello and welcome to the VAE Pilot Clients Quaquin 2-2-8 Oscar setup tutorial. Before starting this tutorial, we'd ask that you please download the Squawkwin 2-2-8 Oscar file from the VAE website and then save it to a place where you can find it. Once you've saved it and downloaded it, you may extract it by right-clicking on the file and clicking Extract. A file will pop up saying Squawkwin, double-click on that file. Next you'll see another icon saying SW install. We want to make sure this program is running in Vista or Windows 7 administrator mode or it will not work correctly. Next we're going to double-click on SW install, say yes give this, and then it'll pop up. Next, since we're installing for FSX, we're going to click the install for FSX radio button, click new install, just confirm that it wants us to install it, click yes or no. For my example, I'm going to click no because I've already installed it. Now it says everything's been installed correctly and you may now close the installer. Close the installer by pressing cancel. Alright, next we're going to be opening up the flight simulator itself, so go to wherever your flight simulator icon is. Double click on the flight simulator icon and then pause this tutorial until your flight simulator has loaded and a dialog box pops up. And this is the dialog box we're looking for. It says flight simulator is attempting to start Squawkwin and basically it just wants to confirm with you that you want to run the program. If you're going to be using the VAA flight server you want to select yes. If you're not going to be using the VAA flight server, for example, if you're just flying in free flight or in a game spy server, you want to select no or your game experience will be diminished until you restart the simulator and select the no button. So for this tutorial we are going to select yes and we're going to wait for the flight simulator to load. Once the flight simulator loads we're going to select our aircraft and current location in the free flight menu. For this tutorial, we're going to be using the Air Creation Trike Ultralight, and we're going to be spawning in at DeKalb Taylor Municipal Airport in Sycamore, Illinois, and click Fly Now. Once your simulator is loaded, please uh, continue this tutorial. Alright, now that the simulator is loaded, we're going to press the buttons Shift and Tab on your keyboard. A dialog box will pop up and it'll just take a few seconds to get all initialized. Once it's initialized, a box with aircraft types will pop up. And once this box pops up, you will select your plane type that you're flying in. It is crucial that you select the correct plane type that you're flying in or you will not be substituted correctly in the flight server. For this tutorial, we're going to select the one that is uh, currently selected for us, the Micro Light Aircraft, and press OK. Now that we've done that, we can now right click on the box and where it says options and then main setup, type in your first and last name, Robert Fitzgerald in my case, and your base airport KDKB. For this tutorial, you can choose any base airport you want, and you only need to do this the first time you log in. For the voice program, we're going to select TeamSpeak. And then for the package slash deliveries manufacturer's priority, there's a few options there. In order to substitute your aircraft correctly inside the simulator, you have to download either a VIP package or the World of AI package provided by World of AI. If you already have World of AI, it's much easier just to use those models and their paint quality is just a little bit better than the VIP package. But if you don't have World of AI and you don't intend on installing it, you can download the VIP package off of the VAE website and install it into your sim objects folder, but that is another tutorial. So for this tutorial, we're going to uh, put World of AI in, uh, in front of the priority so that it uh, substitutes, most of the aircraft will substitute as World of AI aircraft instead of the VIP aircraft. And now that, that is complete, we can click Save. Click Save and then right click again where the text is, press set up your network and this time we want to make sure this says virtual-aviation.org that says dafsim slash service slash php or dot php and then for the ID we want to enter your username and password for the website in my case it's ds liar ds and don't worry if it's in capital letters it's fine and your password 
and those are both the same usernames and passwords that you use to log into the VAE website. And now that that's complete, we can click Save and then right click again, go to where it says Networks, click on virtual aviation.org, enter a call sign. If you are flying a commercial jetliner, you must enter the call sign as a air, airline identification uh, code and a flight number, for example, American 1123 would be AAL 1123. And for general aviation, you can put November 123 Mike Charlie or Mike Sierra for a general aviation aircraft. As long as the uh, call sign is correct, correctly set for either commercial aircraft or general aviation aircraft, it will substitute you correctly. And now I press connect now, and the Squawk Win will attempt to connect to the server, and it'll take a few seconds to connect, and once it's connected, it will say you have now been connected to the virtual aviationorg flight server and it'll say where the server is located and then you'll be good to go and the weather will automatically update and that's all there is to it. Now you can press shift tab to make that window disappear and that's all you need to do to uh, configure your uh, pilot client. Hope to see you in the skies.